Hi, Brady. We're going to go over your swing, talk about some of the things that you do really well, some of the things that you've improved on, and uh, some of the things that I want to keep seeing you working on. Um, I have Hanley Ramirez uh, back in the day when he was with the Marlins. Um, I just like some of the moves that he makes, some similar to what you do. So I'm um, just a guide. That's all it is. But just to show some of the things that uh, I want you to keep working on. Um, you've improved a lot. Um, keep working on it. Keep getting better at it. Um, kudos to you for that. As you can see, you have a nice stride and separation. Right from the get-go, you get your chest engaged. Um, a lot of good things that you do. One of the things that I'm going to challenge you on is as you start to keep going out, that this knee doesn't bend um, to allow your hips to go uphill. It's a hard move. Um, we work on it a lot. Um, but you notice that you have this position as opposed to being more when you get out to stride position that this is I wouldn't even say straight, it's more um, that the knee doesn't collapse inside. Uh, once you see the knee go inside, it brings the hips up. If the knee, if the leg, back leg stays with the back knee strain, staying towards home plate, as you can see, you start to bring your knee towards, home, uh, towards the pitcher as opposed to he keeps his direction that way towards home plate and his knees will stay, or his hips will stay closed. Well, this bends just a little bit enough to make you work uphill and then set your chest back. His chest is back behind the center point, which is really good. That's a bad draw. That's a bad line. <clears throat> but you notice that the knee, the front knee, and the back, and the front knee and the front foot are staying closed. And you notice your tendency is once this knee comes in towards home plate, that you bring your heel and your knee are towards the pitcher. And this takes you up just a little bit uphill, and that's where you get this position. I prefer, well, I want your your chest to be more underneath your hips. He's leaning back as well, but it's more underneath his hips. His hips are right here, and his chest is still underneath it. Your hips are right here, and your chest is back. And and so if you start missing breaking balls, start missing, uh, start hitting some balls too high in the air or on the ground, um, that's most of the cause of it. Is this back knee positioning? Remember, you want to try to straighten it out before you go forward. You have improved a lot. You've created a lot of bat speed, and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, you've been doing a lot better. Um, this is just a, a thing that I want you to keep working on. I feel like your chest is going to be underneath your hips, basically through the whole entire swing. Um, if you are swinging the bat really well, keep doing what you're doing, and we'll just keep making this minor adjustment um, uh, once uh, fall comes around. Like I said, you've, you've improved your swing so much. Uh, one of the things that I love about your swing um, that you've improved is your hand positioning. You strike back, and look at this knob gets into the hitting zone first before your back elbow, and then you get your bat on plane. Um, it's, it's one of the most important things that happens, and at a youth level, it's really difficult. As you can see, his knob and his back elbow, um, his back elbow is leading until he gets right into the hitting zone, and, and his knob is right here and his back elbow is right there and then now his knob stays in the hitting zone with his back elbow behind him um, that's the recipe for a really good swing and as you can see you're doing it just as well and uh, that's what I love about your swing so a couple things that you can work on um, even on the on deck circle I prefer on the on deck circle so you just speed it up um, or try working on it during batting practice try not getting your chest too far back behind the ball and keep them over your shoulders and and that could be during practice but on the index circle I feel like you're going to practice and when you come and you land that your front foot and your front knee are going to stay towards home plate so as you can see your toe goes towards the pitcher your knee now is towards the pitcher and now you're just slightly open with those hips so and that's something you can try to do four or five six times before you go up and hit um, just think about the muscle memory of 200 at bats and and we're going to work on it when we get to uh, uh, when we start up and fall anyway. So um, the swing has improved a lot, like I said, and, and I like where you're at. Um, if some of these things do pop up, um, it's something that you can keep working on. And uh, I have your very first, one of your very first uh, swings that you took at the academy. We're just going to kind of go over that and see the improvement. Obviously, you're bigger and stronger, um, but you'll notice that. 
And then from the get-go, you don't take your hands away from your body at all. Uh, you tilt your head downward and you slide your hips. It's just called a hip slide. And then you look at how you cast your arms way back and you can see your elbow. This is one of the things I was talking about. You can see your elbow is this way and here your elbow is back. And obviously the one that you're doing now is the one that's right. And so you can even see how it creates your barrel really underneath the ball. And here your barrel is above the ball, which it's supposed to be. And this is just a long, drawn-out swing. It's almost more of a golfer swing. And the one on the left is a baseball swing. So um, you never rotate your back foot. You finish. You can see your. You don't really get a lot of good extension through the ball. Um, so you have improved a lot. Look at your extension through the ball. Look at all the things that you're doing really well through the swing. And then I'll show you a couple more times your old swing. So you cast your arm and that elbow drops in. Back foot never rotates. So there you go. Keep working hard, bud. Good job.